Uh, hello YouTube, welcome back. Uh, I just made it back to the Nexus, and I wanted to... Uh, we need to get a soul level. But I want to talk to Patches to see if he has anything else to say. I implore you to stay away from Yurt, the assassin in black. Do it. Oh, thank you. Well, do as you please, but don't... Alright, let's talk to the maiden in black. I like how you're my uh, Shia LaBeouf, Milf. Keeping me going. Um, do I want attack or do I want more endurance? I think I just want more attack, right? It's going to give me attack and it's going to give me some physical defense. It's going to give me like a quit burden and whatnot. But, hear me out though. If they die faster... May thine strength help the world be mended. Mm -hmm. So that the world might be mended. All right. Uh, three, two. I kind of like this. I, I think I, I feel like I'm getting the the classic WoW, like the hardcore vibe or whatever. Uh, I feel like I'm almost kind of playing the game again for like the first time instead of just rolling around in soul form not caring if i lived or died but now like there's a little bit of weight to it like i'm kind of liking this uh i could fall to my death here a lot so uh <laughs> i say that now i might not like this later on and these gargoyles can sometimes uh spawn isn't fun but i have the thief's ring on so that's gonna help me a little bit oh uh, what do we got here a little bonfire uh and we can go that way so, if we see, there's a gross-looking thing over there, right? And we've got these chains, or this big chain that's running to it, right? And there are uh, all these big chains kind of running to this middle part. So, we need to basically drop these chains. So, we're going to head over to the first chain here. We're going to see if we can take care of business. Oh, actually, this bridge is out, so we can't even go this way. But what's what's this? Please don't die, scum. Oh my god, let me loot it, please. Oh. Oh, I didn't un... Damn it. <laughs> Hold on. I, I actually goofed up really hard. We need to go back to the Nexus. I didn't get rid of all of my stuff. So I'm just going to be overburdened the whole time. Uh, YouTube, take two. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it stays in. Everything stays in. Uh, we're stockpile Thomas. Oh, Tommy Poo, we need to talk. Hello, I'm keep. <laughs> One take, everybody knows the rules. See, we got two rings of gas resistance, which, uh, you know, whatever, two. Shoutouts to, um... Oh, I got a hiccup. I apologize. Master's ring uh, raises direct hit damage, lowers other damage, reduces... Ronin ring. I don't know when I got that. Clever, clever rat ring that's for like hyper mode builds and all that like, silly stuff. Um, I don't need this, and this is just weapon wear is kind of interesting. You I, have a heart of I actually, let me, let's see if we need to repair. I can have a clever rat bastard ring. <laughs> This thing has taken... So I've been bonking this thing against the walls and everything. It literally only has 80 souls of repair. <laughs> I just put on the assassin stuff. You come back alive. Yeah, you need my business. Hello again. I'm keep... Uh, did I deposit everything? Wizard shoes we don't need. Uh, black boots we don't need. Uh, at some point, I might be able to wear these if I get enough endurance. No, because we're going to get other gear. Don't let them take what it am I doing? You. See, I can't navigate a Hello, menu to save my life. 
I'm gonna be the scumbag uh, here in a minute, though. You have a heart of gold. Oh, and we need to follow up with uh, these nerds back here. Here's the uh, the holy corner of the of the nerds. Uh, let's listen to this guy. My, you have rescued the honorable one. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great onus. Oh, thank God. Umbessa. <laughs> Umbessa. <laughs> oh, thank God. Umbessa. <laughs> I hate these nerds. They're awful. Thank goodness. The Lord has not forgotten me yet. For he has reunited me with Saint Urbane. I shall serve him and pray with him. And thus express my faith in God. Mbasa. Mbasa. So it's kind of interesting, right? She's talking about how God hasn't abandoned her and whatnot and... It brings St. Urbane back. Yo, look at all the stuff they got for Urbane. Look at these baguettes, wine. Look at all this stuff. Or maybe did Urbane... Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons... Then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and perform a miracle with their power. Okay, so he... Uh, yes, I see. Yeah. I certainly cannot force you to do anything. But you must remember this. A demon soul is a source of evil power. So we'll th we'll see things coming along because he's this, he's talking about miracles and whatnot and how demon stuff is evil but his holy stuff is fine, but we're gonna kind of come to find out that the soul arts and everything kind of derive from the old one. So they're kind of you know just being a little silly about it. And I wonder if let me see here. Uh, I don't have it, do I? No, I don't. But anyways, um, enough lore nonsense. Um, back to the Fool's Idol, Archstone, and we'll explore this area. Now, when I first played this, I feel like this area took forever. But it might have been because I was stressed out and it was dark and I was lost. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so that way is uh, locked off and we got a little gargoyle uh, hanging out there. It looks like we have to go this way. Start it. I think. Hold on. Let's not uh, jump the gun or anything. Um, no, I believe that that's it without falling to my death. He's alive. All right. You gonna do anything? Gonna get angry and fly away. Okay. Um. Can I equip these? Oh, he's playing footsies with us. Hold on, everybody. Strap in and strap on. It's about to be a uh, fight to the death. Bonk. I'll take the trade all day. Um, I don't hear a soul. I think I also... Um, I think I used to grind these guys for souls because they drop, like, consumable souls sometimes. So I would just kind of come back here and, like, kill a few and keep going. 
But there's one way up there. Let's see if we can get him to drop down. Ooh, he can hear the heartbeat. I don't know if he can... I'll try to shut up for a minute, but... to go all the way around to see what all there might be. Give me a little pathway out this way. Anyways, look at this gross ass thing. If I can even get a good look at it. It's pulsing and it's whatever. And I'm not a fan. Am I about to get ambushed out here? Got like a perfect ambush place. Oh, we can go down though. Huh. I think. Do I need to go up top first or go down below first? Uh, let's ascend first and then we can go down if needed. I'm actually kind of worried about the. boss fight of this area. I think it might cause me a little bit of grief. That's half the fun, right? Ooh, we get a better look at it. Ugh. Get it. Ugh. Okay, so that way is that. Okay, so we have to go this way at least because we need to drop that chain. I guess let's face off against this guy in Mortal Kombat. Bonk. Ooh, look at him sitting there menacingly. Yo, he's he's schmoovin'. He's got a he's got a crossbow or something. I don't remember there being a uh, crossbow wielding uh, guys. Okay, so it looks like there's a fog wall here, and there's a couple. There's a gargoyle right there. Look at him. You see, you can see by the red of their eyes. Uh oh. All right, so he landed over here. <gasps> Shit. Bless. Right. Another unknown hero soul. I wasn't locked on. I thought I was about to walk off the edge. Now, I could shimmy along the wall there and grab whatever that is. But I feel like I'm just going to die. So... I'm not going to. God, I'm so tempted to. You see a shiny on the ground. You're just like, I gotta have it. All right, I need to wash the floor here as well. Oh, those guys survived one R1 attack or two. Yeah, they survived one, it takes two. I need to wash the floor here for the elevator. I don't fall to my death. Again. So, uh, these guys are holding up the chain with their magical powers. They're, uh, casting a spell. I don't know how long they've been here, or how they maintain this. Maybe shift work. 
last one. But I believe that should be it. Yeah. There goes the chain. And the gross flesh thing fell just a little bit that day. Renowned hero soul. I believe, I think our friend is over there that we need to go talk to. But I will ascend all the way to the top just to see what possibly could be up there besides uh, death. Uh, a whole bunch of nothing. I guess I could wait for... Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's just go down. Hmm. Yes, we need to go over there to the right. You see those wonderful, brightly colored stones right over there? We need to make our way over there. Hopefully without dying. And here's one way to go down. Nice. Fresh spice, nerd stuff. Or two ways to go down. Made the jump. All right. Shard of the Archstone. So I feel like the guy in the fluted armor, right? With the Shard of the Archstone is a little bit of an indication, right? Of this guy is from the Nexus. All right. Dead body on the floor. And then you have these wonderful things leading up to this imposing gentleman with a sickle and a uh, little dagger. Let's talk. Are you here to fight the demons? If I so, am. Then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. So we'll go ahead and open up the cell. Come on out, big dog. All right, let's talk to him. Thank you. I, I am certain. Uh, does he say anything else? I will rip. I am. S well, what have we here? Do you wish to die? <laughs> okay, so we've uh, kicked him off, right? And he's dead now. All right. Uh, no worries. If you ever kill somebody and you need them back, just load your profile again. It's fine. And if I did that correctly, which I hope I did, his items should be right here, which we got the gloom set. Now this set looks real cool. Um, but I can't carry all of it because I'm overburdened. Um, let's see. Can I, uh, let's just do the item burden ring so I can just pick all this up in the gloom legs. In the gloom gauntlets so who we just killed um, you would come to find out in the Nexus that is Yurt, the silent chief uh, he sure talks a lot for being silent um, but yeah his stuff looks real cool and I like it look at it he I look so cool this is fun I think I'm extremely extremely overburdened uh, let's see here. Quit burden. 47 out of uh, 63. So we're going to have to level up. A lot. Um, but, yeah. This is a fun little set. And I like it a whole bunch. And if you let that guy live, he'll start killing people in the Nexus. Um, your NPCs and whatnot. But let's go ahead and see what all we can equip. All right, so the plate legs give the same physical resistance, but this stuff gives a little more plague and poison resistance. Let's see if we can get away with maybe this at least. Can I can I wear the the legs and still roll? Okay. Am I getting greedy? Uh, what's my equip burden at? I have to stay at 50%. No. Alright. More endurance. Uh, so I guess the only way out of here really is to... Um, you get into the same cell that he was in. It closes and it should drop us straight down. 
I don't know how Yurt got captured or how that happened, but uh, it did. Look at this descent. My god, like how high up are we? And we see there's a fog uh, door right there, which, which we need to make our way to. So we need to make our way over there to the right. And I believe this is all poison gross nonsense down here with these gross tentacles and whatnot. Uh, I don't know where I'm at or where I need to go other than kind of generally right in some direction. So we're just gonna hug the wall and we're just gonna kind of make our way over to... I thought I heard something. And I believe this is where those other cages we saw, or some of them dropped to, uh, if I remember correctly. Or do I need to go up on the wooden platform to continue? I think I... Yeah, because... Hold on. Okay, let's see if we can get up on this wooden stuff. Let's find a way back. Um, keep your eyes peeled, everybody. Aha! We found some stairs. Oh! God, look at this thing. It's horrifying. Oh, shit. And we kill them, their little tail pops off. Nightmare fuel. can't I target him? He's right there. Thank you. Bonk. Ugh. Horrific. You have some like... Wait, is that a gargoyle I killed earlier and he dropped all the way down here? Or is there just a couple of them just hanging out down here? Ooh, we got another stone of the ephemeral eyes in case I die. How many times have I died here? Twice? I think one more time puts me in pure black, actually. We need to make our way to that fog wall. Shoutouts to Berserk. Uh, we can see the influence a little bit. You know, you know. You love it. Oh. And they're small ones. The little ones have metal teeth. Oh, there's so many of them here. Ooh. Nothing over there. Dark moon grass. That's big. That's real big. All right, and then I think, I think we just have like a mind flare and stuff. And I think we've made our way to the second tower, I believe. And get over the tentacle, please. There he is, the mind flayer I spoke of. Oh, he's a red phantom mind flayer also. We'll knock him down. So I think those guys hurt a whole bunch, but they drop fresh spice. Oh, so if you're into that kind of thing, uh, you know, they got him. Alright, 
See, we had an ambush waiting for us. Right up there. I looked to the right to see if there's anything else going on over there. Uh, you got me, Miyazaki. You got me good. <laughs> Even after however long it's been. Bonk. See, there's another one right there. But I can also go this way. Pick whatever this is. Here's some more spice. Outplayed. Gargoyles I hear? That's fine. I care not for uh, anything you have to offer, so that's fine. Oh, is this a dead end? Or do I need to do something? Oh, no. Oh, uh, this is going to be tragic. Do I have to, like, get rid of more to open up this? Oh, hold on. Is that a pathway? Fuck. Perfect. See? And I believe that's another chain. Aha. We are not lost. We found the way. I don't know if any of those guys are... Uh, no, they don't have red eyes. I know that guy is there. Who just shot at me? A little scared, you know. No big deal. Oh, it's you! Playing the ranged game, I see. That's fine. We can, uh, we can surmount this. This is fine. Both of you. Good dodge, scum. Thank you, scum. I tried to manually aim that, and that was a bad idea. I didn't get the swing off. Let's back it up so I don't fall off. How far did I run? Jig commence the, the jiggling on me. Okay. G g fellas, please. <laughs> I, I, I need to see where I'm going. I almost rolled off the ledge. <laughs> Woo, that'll wake you up at um, 1 a.m. That's fine. Oh, backdash my attack. How dare you? Not much uh, further to run, big dog. Cursed. Boiled by a simple pot. Alright. Storage. Okay. I'll make sure I don't fall off the edge again. Elevator should be coming down. Here we go. Perfect. See that gargoyle like dropping down? That was, that was fun. I feel like they did a um, a rather good job with making this next area in Latria feel very big. In terms of just like the height, like the area is not huge, right? There's some ground, there's a couple of towers and whatnot. But with how they've obscured rest of the world and you're kind of looking off into the distance it makes it feel really huge uh, in my opinion at least. all right is that it we clear out the second chain gang too much for it.
And then the real nightmare begins. Crawl out of there, and there's so many of them. Um, I think there's loot down there, but I don't think there's any other reason to really go down there if we're being real. Um, Alright, so we'll wait on our elevator ride, and I think we can just go back the way we came. And then I think we should be at the boss room. After we ascend, of course. Again, I feel like the stress has gotten to me. Where I feel like I've been in here for like two hours. And it's only been 30 minutes. I got my sharp little... I feel like I'm wearing like dress plate shoes with my pointy little feet. Or do I need to go all the way back? I thought this... I thought maybe that disappeared. Maybe there's something else that disappeared. I need to go back up. Hmm. I mean, I could use that shard of the arch stone. Just to head back. Which I might do? I don't think I've ever done that before. Cause I think that's everything. Alright, so let's uh let's see if how many how many do we have in our bag? We've got one. Loses uh, souls? No, we want to keep our souls. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see if we saved ourselves a little bit of time. Right? I want to see if Patch has anything to say since we've already killed you. So I implore you to no. stay away from Yurt, the assassin in black. Don't worry. We are, hey, we've already killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think the... I think that's a beauty of this area, actually. Now that we've taken care of the chains, I think the run-up to that first tower we went into... I think we can just go up now. I have a feeling I made this run a lot. Because I feel like I died to this next boss a lot. Ooh, look, and they're on the, the bridge now. He popped clear over me. past him. Let's see if he follows us in here. If he follows us in, we'll take care of him. If he stays outside where he belongs, then uh, we got no we got no problems, friend. Now, I think there's a couple of red phantom um mind flares as we go up because I remember I feel like I got frustrated back in the day and I made this run and I died to them a couple of times and that just increased my frustration so I feel like I rem remember them being up here and I just remembered how to deal with them or that I would have to deal with them so he's right there you turn around
I think it's always best to uh, shout to the thief's ring. Uh, I believe that's making this a lot easier. Because if they turn around, then I can just run up behind them and do that. Why did I feel like I remembered there was being something back here? I'll go along this ledge. This one's not. I don't think this one's fatal. It's the the soul. All right. What do I remember? <clears throat> Let's see, because that's, that's the boss fog door. And I believe you can see him right there. The gargoyle himself. Um, I don't know if they're, like, weak to anything. I, I feel like the best case scenario that I had was kind of um, going in really hard at the start. And just seeing if I could take care of the tail and take care of the first one. Oh, uh, spoilers. <laughs> but I feel like that's what made this fight necessarily uh, one of the harder ones was the fact that you just have to deal with two. Um, let's see. I don't think they poison or anything. We got 10 lives to go through this, so that's fine. Um, Herpentine. So we're going to stick with the late moon. Um, I don't know what's going to be better, fire damage or magical damage. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll go with sticky. Start out. Going to be a big test run. Um, and I don't like fighting him on the thing. I feel like I like them by the bonfire more. What's the worst that could happen? Us die? 37 minutes into an episode? <sighs> the man-eaters. Gar gargoyles are Dark Souls, so I apologize. That's fine. Disengage, run away! Uh, fight me up here, please. Let's get to full life. Uh, where is he? There he is. Wait for him to land again. Oop. Uh, let's see. Now I feel like that's why I like the bonfire, those homing things uh, weren't as big of a problem. You can kind of just... Now, I feel like I'm going to have to engage him at some point. I see my uh, sticky white stuff is already up. I'm a little stun locked. There's our uh, second one. Yep. All right. So now we got two incoming, and we haven't taken care of anything really. Okay, we're we're still all right. I 
And now we wait. Okay, this one's choosing to engage first. I think the thief's ring is giving them a little bit of pause. Oh, no, I'm dead. Fuck. I got knocked off. I should have rolled away and or to the left, and I think it took the whatever input. That's fine. <sighs> All right, back to the boss room. That wasn't so bad. Um, I feel like I'm going to have a little bit. It's not going to be that bad. and back up the ascension. I think that is a benefit of curse weapon though. I think once you cast that, you're kind of you're kind of Gucci, right? It just kind of stays on. If we do get access to curse weapon, I think that's going to be pretty late in this playthrough if I'm being honest I believe Yuria the witch is located in 1 4 1 3 uh, is this person turning around I'm surprisingly tanky for the amount of, like, I only have, like, one piece of, like, decent armor on. The rest of this is kind of, like, whatever. I was surprised I was able to take the amount of hits that I did. Late moon grass it is. And now I think I think it goes back just to the one, right? Which it might be worth actually. Let's see about let's do something a little different here. And I like the open area more. So I think he flies over... Oh, there he is. Uh, that's a decent trade. I'll take that. With my back to the uh, geyser. That's fine. And then is he going to fly over here again? There you go. Okay, we took care of a tail, which is... That's big, actually. Uh, let's wait for him to fly away. Ooh, we might get the drop on him again and get another good two hits in. <gasps> oh, come on! Oh, that's tragic. Oh, whatever. Um, so that's good. Okay. Oh, that was feeling really good about that run, too. Because that first one was going to die real quick. Okay. Well, we have a strat in place now, which is good.
I know it's a little archaic, but there's something there is something nice about the run back to the boss room. I know it's kind of like people would rather just kind of have an arch stone or have like a a bonfire like right there and whatnot. Just to, you know, get back in there and like play and whatnot. And I, I get it. But I think that's kind of something that makes this game a little uh, charming in its own way, where it's, you really have to, I don't know, you're not just kind of beating your head against the wall just kind of aimlessly without some consequence of like, oh, if I fail here, even if you've opened up shortcuts, I'm going to have to make some kind of path back, which it might be tedious, but you know, it's the little thing. Now, I'm sure there's some uh, people who are just like, uh, no, this is bad or whatever, but I don't know. I'm a fan of it. Now, I don't know if I would want it in every game or if I'd want it in every Souls game, but I do think it makes this experience with Demon Souls a little special. All right. Uh, that last one was really good. We just got the angle wrong uh, just a little bit. How did that hit me? I forgot what that does. What the hell did, uh, I don't know exactly what that does to him. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get back up top while we can. Okay, we're sitting really good right now. See, it took my diagonal very incorrectly there. That was uh, really bad for us, actually. <gasps> I did not want that. We, uh, we lucked out there. Big. Big. Okay, we took care of one. This is good. This is good. This is big. Now we need to not goof up on the second one. Where is he? Unless... He's coming back, right? <laughs> He's coming back, right? Oh, there he is. Okay. We can do this. Got his tail. That's big. It's real big. Woo! Is this the run, everybody? Is this the run? Oh, no, let's not get greedy. Get greedy. All right, he's gonna fly off and land there again, and we'll be able to get a heavy attack on his uh, his bus. Now he's running away again. Shouts to the thief's ring for being uh, very silly. 
Alright, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. We're, uh, we're sitting pretty. He might just take a while to come back to us, which is fine. Right? Unless I can I do something cheesy like, oh shit, let's, uh, not do anything. <gasps> Did he see us? No, it doesn't. Well, that's bad. <gasps> shit. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, that's fine. Okay, we can recover. We can recover. This is fine. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's fun. That's real fun. I apologize for taking this so slow, but, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the bosses that, uh, I do truly want to, uh, take care of in a time limit. all my playthrough trying to do this. I'm gonna land now? Where is he? There he is. Come on. Come on. Oh, and now he's doing the weird path thing. Okay. <laughs> That was a juicy, that was a juicy hit. Like two more hits and he's, it's curtains. Well, it's not cursed though. Hold on. Palms are sweaty. <laughs> Heart rate increasing. That's fine. That's... Do your worst. heading towards the, the fog door. Is this a trap? Okay, the first sign of him doing something. We're gonna get the hell out of there. Oh, it was a trap. It was a trap. We got a free hit in. <laughs> we won't uh, second guess it. Uh, don't make me do that again, please. I will be terrified. Where is he? Oh. Come on, man. Dressing me out. <sighs> well, 
let's not, let's not. Uh, he's gonna land again. Let's have to wait for him to land. There it is, okay. Come on, just give me my, give me my hits. Play it safe. Where is he? And there it is. Woo! Hallelujah! <laughs> All right. Uh, what is this? Fifty-six minutes. I think we could do the same thing that we've done for um, the rest of the. Why am I going for this? I don't need to get the shiny, but I want. Nope. Because I think we just have to go up a flight of stairs and we're at the next boss. And so we'll finish off Tower of Latria and then we'll cut Mixed Demon Soul. I don't know what that's used for either. We'll do some research post recording. There's Lord Ridiel, the annoying one. Right, let's go and spend these souls. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Art thou done? May thine strength help the world be mended. Uh, what else do you have? Let's go ahead and get some Steve White stuff. We can buy one, and let's get some late moon grass. So I implore you to yeah, stay, stay away, away from Junior. Got it. All right. Let's finish off World 3, and then what? We've got the Plague Area and the rest of Boletaria, and that's it? Wow. Time goes so quickly. So this is the husband dressed in the um, golden garb or whatever, right? Surrounded by chairs. The old monk. Now what was cool about this boss fight is if you did this online, right? Because see here he's summoning a red phantom, which a player can be a red phantom. And if you were here and you had your summon sign down or something to the effect you could get summoned in and be the boss fight for somebody you could so it's kind of like a player fight now if you're in offline mode you kind of get just a generic fight with um, whatever but this boss right here could be an actual player so it was fun right and some people would make it like really hard for others and and you know if you were you know, summoned in. You could actually set up an ambush, which was kind of, it was kind of cheap, but you know. Not that I ever did that. That's deplorable behavior. <laughs> so his standard move set isn't that bad. I think I'll be able to knock him down and kind of take care of this. I say that, I say that. Because it's kind of like there's gimm- like, every last boss, for the most part, is kind of like a gimmick fight for the, the most, you know. Oh, he's picking up speed! Ooh! Those are big.
it's just kind of funny that I'm... Well, I mean, I feel like... I feel like heavy weapons do make the game a little easier. Or I don't know if I'm just more comfortable with placing those hits as opposed to like something like the long sword, which I struggled with. I tried using it for a while, but I even got to plus five. Anyways, boss fight. Uh, let's focus it. Uh, focus up, I should say. All right. That didn't hit. Uppercut. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to be able to kind of... That's great. That's okay. Watch out for the soul arrow. I ate the soul arrow to the face. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh, he, he knew. We'll take the last trade. That's fine. Boom. And the old monk fight. Huh? The demon was destroyed. And I believe if you're actually a player and you successfully kill, you know, someone coming in to do the boss fight, I think you get the head wrap, which I think is good for, like, casters for some reason. Um, but anyways... Uh, we're just at an hour. Perfect. Uh, if you're still watching on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, my Twitch link is down below. And uh, we'll see you in the next part.